did actually land yesterday in New York, but we flew from Heathrow, London, and then we were just feeling honestly kind of dead. Like we tried to walk around as much as possible yesterday, but I think we were both passed out by like 6 p.m. So we did get like 11 hours sleep last night though, because we fell asleep at six and then we woke up at like five. So we're feeling much better today for our first full day here. Can we also talk about these bathrobes? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm wearing like, I don't even know how to explain this. It feels like a blanket. I adore, I love. We're staying in Times Square for the first part of this trip. We're staying at the Edition. It's such a cute hotel. Crud's here. Hi. Working girl. I'm like covered in all these clothes. We just had a package sent to the room. We've been like unpacking. We're staying here for the first few nights. And then we moved to Greenwich for the second part of our New York trip. So today's plan, finish getting ready get dressed out of this robe even though i'm really sad to leave this robe I'm so happy to be back here you guys know how much i love new york like this is my favorite city of all time mini room tour this is actually a very big hotel room for new york two beds here don't mind all of the clothes we've got some really fun party outfits going on one suitcase down here and then i have another one over here we have so many clothes it's actually a bit of a problem um i was talking about it if you haven't watched my london vlog i'll link it down below but I basically got charged. I got charged at the airport like over a thousand dollars for an overweight bag. It was a mistake. They they did charge me extra, but still, we really <laughs> we want to go vintage shopping while we're here. So I think we're gonna have to send some things back. I just don't think everything's gonna fit in our suitcase, or we're gonna have to pay so much money to get it home. This is oh, this is the bathroom. Hello. Okay guys, we just got some lunch. We've been recording and shooting content in the room before we head out this afternoon and explore, but we felt like we needed some food. And we went to this place called Zion Famous Food. We actually did go here yesterday when we first landed and it was so good that we had to come back again today. So let me tell you what we got. It's this Chinese place in New York and it's meant to be like amazing. And I had it on my like wish list to go to for so long and I'm so glad we are finally trying it because it's really lives up to the hive. Spicy cumin lamb hand rope noodles and then spicy and sour dumplings. I'm like actually I put it down because I couldn't keep holding it and not tasting it. Oh my god okay. Because I'm actually salivating. Oh my god. <gasps> Those look like some soupy dumplings. <sighs> oh my god this looks incredible. The noodles. Y'all. Okay let's try it. Y'all, okay. where are you gonna start? I'm gonna start with the noodles. Mmm. Better than Biang Bang. Biang. Oh, I haven't been to Biang Bang. No, dude, they're so good. Like, guys, look at this. Are you, like, actually. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. We are getting ready to go out for our first night in New York. I don't think you understand how excited I am for this. I haven't been out in New York in. Over two years. Very excited to go out. Tonight we're going to a bar called Nublas. It's close to the hotel. I th oh, sort of. I think we still probably will have to take... Wait, are we walking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to walk. I think it's like a 20 minute walk, but we want to get our steps in on this trip anyway. So I'm down to walk. This is the glam of the night. I haven't changed it since I did it earlier today. I just added a little bit of extra eyeshadow. But I think it's actually lasted pretty well considering we've been... Honestly, just like shooting content all day today. <laughs> we did go exploring earlier and walk around Times Square a little bit. I actually did get a photo with a police officer. I really wanted a photo with a cop. This is me with the NYPD. The outfit of the night. I'm wearing this black, like faux leather top and then a black mini skirt. And then of course I'm wearing my favorite black boots. I'm so glad that I packed both of the colors in these cause I was almost not going to. I thought it was a little bit excessive but I've honestly worn them like every single day. Also very confused because I thought New York was meant to be really cold right now but it's actually pretty hot. Like I'm sweating. Can you see that? I don't think that's highlighter. I think that's sweat. I was walking around today with just a t-shirt on and I was totally, totally fine. I don't think it's that cold, which is really weird. I thought I was gonna be freezing, but I'm, it's actually quite hot. I'm gonna do a little bit of extra blending here. After we go to the bar tonight, we are also thinking of going ice skating tonight, which I'm so excited for. I've never been in New York when, well actually wait. I think that's a lie. I think I did come here once when, no I did. When I was younger, I came here when it was cold and there was an ice skating rink, but I haven't been since I've been an adult to ice skate in New York. So I'm very excited for tonight. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna obviously bring the camera. You, you're 
you're coming out with us tonight. Don't stress, you will be coming. I don't know if I even want to take this jacket. Like, I was just... I was just explaining to you that it's not even that cold, but... I don't know if I should. I don't know if I'm actually gonna freeze if I'm just wearing this and it does get colder outside. Sorry if I'm flashing you. Finally made it to a bar. We went to another one and they were booked for a private event. So we've been booked like four Ks. We've basically been walking, I think, for about an hour. Um, but we did get to see a lot of New York, which is good. But now we've come to the Baccarat Hotel, the like bar downstairs area. And let me just say the so for one glass of wine here, it is 80 Australian dollars for one glass of wine. I walked so far. We've walked too far. We have not have a drink. No, that is I'm so thirsty. Disgusting. No, that's like. Um. Anyway, look how cute the menu is. For like all the homage. So uh, NYC. Yeah. I think this is like, this is going to sound a bit dumb, but I think this is like baccarat, like the fragrance. You know, like the baccarat. Do you know what it really smells like? It when I walked in, I was like, mm, stunning. And they do, in fact, have a, a drink called the baccarat. So, like, it's giving. It must be related. We honestly probably should have known by the name. It's going to be extortionate, but like. I also had to stop in a convenience store. Oh five. yeah, we had some issues. Yeah. And they only had Captain Pokemon thing, whatever the fuck that is. So I've got impressive blue bear. And thing. like we're walking into this like stunning, stunning, like very rouge bar and I just see Caitlin's like little Pokemon band-aids like flying around like Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. I'm sitting on my feet like so close. We're gonna together. get yeah. so embarrassing. We're too like um but let's what should we get? Something good. Let's make this work our work. Okay. I'm thinking like a martini, like very new sexy. Okay. I want a French martini. Okay. Do you reckon I could just ask for like, extra dirty yeah. gin martini? Hendrix gin, extra dirty martini. That is my drink of choice. even say good morning to you because it's what's the time like 5 p.m, 5 PM. <laughs> oh my gosh we got a little bit carried away last night i don't even know what's on this camera i don't know what i filmed but oh my god my camera's gonna die oh shit i'm gonna have to put my camera on charge and then give you last night's recap because we had a little bit too much fun we only had three drinks but the drinks here are just so much stronger Anyway, we had a really fun time though. We went, we ended up at a jazz club, very NYC, classic NYC. Um, but it was a really fun night, but I need to put my camera on charge. Give you all of the updates from last night um, before we head out again tonight. I'm back, hello. I just put my camera on charge for a little bit. So last night, I must recap because this was such an experience. <laughs> oh my God, what? <laughs> I can't, like, I am screaming. So we went out. We were just going to go to a bar for one drink. We went to this. We actually walked for, like, 45 minutes to go to this one bar. And it was shut for a private event. So then we are like, okay, let's go somewhere different. So then we walked for another 45 minutes to go to this second bar. We went to the Baccarat Hotel, like, the lobby bar area, which I think I got a little bit of vlog footage from. Um, but yes, we had one martini there and honestly, over the course of the whole night, we had three drinks, three drinks over so many hours, but something just happened, like something happened. Okay. I, I don't even know. Okay. We're blaming it on the fact that I think Americans obviously free pour. So in Australia, you have to obviously like measure the amount of alcohol before you put it in the cocktail here. They just... They just pour it in. So anyways, we ended up getting blackout accidentally. Accidentally blackout. Like, we didn't mean to get blackout. We just realized at, like, 10 p.m. that we were like, wait, we're so drunk. <laughs> anyway, so it was such a fun night, though, even though it was very unexpected. We ended up going to the Amman Jazz Club. I actually did put on my like dream wish list of things that I wanted to do in New York. So that was amazing. We had such a good time, but yeah, it was just such a weird night and very unexpected. Um, and I actually fell over really badly and really messed up my knee. <laughs> I'll see if I can show you. Hang on. So we were like walking home and I, I just like fell over. There was no need for me to fall over. Apparently I just like tripped or something. I don't know. 
Honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, it actually doesn't really look that bad anymore. It's definitely starting to bruise. Oh my god, it actually is really starting to bruise. Um, but yeah, I fell over and there was like blood. I'll see if I can show you a photo. Actually, that's kind of gross. I'm not going to do that. It was a fun night despite the fact that I really injured myself. We just slept in. We actually had so many things that we wanted to do today, but both of us just woke up and we're like, oh my god, I feel like death. Um, and we did have a podcast recording this afternoon. We recorded with a New York City girly, Kit Keenan, um, who is just so amazing, by the way. Like, I am obsessed with her. If you guys follow her on Instagram, um, she is just, yeah, I love her. She's amazing. So that was a really fun episode. And now it's like, what's the time? We have a party that we're going to tonight. It's 6.34 and it's in Soho, which I'm really excited for. We are changing hotels, um in two days three days this area that we're staying in times square i think is great for like if you if it's your first time to new york if you're planning a trip definitely stay in like this well if you're planning a trip to new york and you want to do all of like the sites and the touristy things i think this area would be good for that um but because i've been to new york a few times i'm really excited to be more like soho Greenwich East Village like that kind of area. No idea what I'm wearing tonight. We have so many outfit options So number one Do you know what I could really do with another glass of wine? There's this red Set mini skirt with this matching red top which is very fun um, Very party vibes, but that's a potential and then I really love oh my god I really loved this one as well. This like black mini and it has this like detailing on the top. Sequin sparkly dress, which is very night out, girls night out. Um, all of these outfits, by the way, are from White Fox Boutique. And everything you see me wearing in this video is actually from White Fox Boutique. I will leave all of the links in the description box down below. White Fox is actually sponsoring our GC on tour trip, which is very exciting. We're so grateful to even have this opportunity. It's honestly crazy to even think about the fact that we are in New York and we just came from London and we're going to LA recording with some of these amazing, incredible, incredible women. Um, so yeah, thank you so much White Fox for partnering with us on this. But yes, these are some of the, <laughs> oh my God. These are some of the outfits. I feel like Kaylin, you should wear the um, sheer one. That's upside down for me. It's so nice. I don't, oh yeah, it's this way. No, this is, stunning oh it actually is really cold it hasn't the last few days like i was walking around with just a t-shirt and jeans on yesterday but today it is a little bit cold i think i might wear the black mini if you don't wear it do, do the black mini because also i'm just thinking you know that taxi video that i want to do oh yeah no i see the vision you know what i mean no you're, like it's all yours i'm a little bit hungry remember last night they were going to bring a microwave is that what they said? I can't even remember. They're like, can you bring a microwave? And they're like, yeah. And they're going to bring one up and then we ordered Shake Shack. So. <laughs> they probably were like, we hey, ordered yeah. Shake Shack last night. I swear at 11.30. We had like one bite. At 11.35, it was dropped off. Riddle me this. Something's going on over at Shake Shack. I don't know how they got it here so fast. Blocked your number on my phone. It's time to get dressed and ready. Yeah. We need to get the vibes high. We are not feeling good. <laughs> I feel like shit. We need to get the vibes right before we go to this party. I'm gonna go try my outfit on and fix my hair and take these clips out and fix my makeup because it's been on since very early this morning and I think I did it like half asleep, probably half still drunk. Outfit of the night. This is the dress that I ended up going with. I really wanted to wear it because I just feel like it's such a beautiful dress. And honestly, it's really different to what I wear now. I don't really wear stuff like this anymore, but I'm in New York and I wanted to have a fun, really glam outfit for tonight's party. So this is the look. I've got a pair of black stockings on with it and then I'm wearing some black quarto heels. Oh my also have a really big black like coat on top because it is a little bit cold to cover up this scar because it always goes really pink and I just feel like 
Not tonight, babes. Not tonight. Kayla and I are going to book an Uber soon and head to this event. We did order two glasses of wine to the room, which honestly, <laughs> I'm surprised that we can actually drink things right now after last night. Mm. This is the glam as well. I didn't redo it from today. I just kind of touched it up because I am feeling lazy, but I did add a little tight liner on my bottom lash. I've been loving doing this recently because I feel like it gives you that really nice cat eye look and I have quite round eyes so that's a little hack for any of my round eyed girlies if you don't like what's it like high contrast low contrast I'm a long low contrast makeup girl but I feel like the eyeshadow on the bottom lash line does definitely help are you sure? <laughs> what are you saying? Sorry. Say it, the vlog wants to hear. I could absolutely <laughs> head but a plate of fresh sashimi. <laughs> Oh my oh. knee! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway, we're basically ready to go. This is the look. All of our other stockings on this trip so far have ripped, so we really need to go out to the shops and get some tomorrow. But I'm wearing these like lace ones, which I don't <laughs> want to have fall down because I just feel like the bedazzled with the lace is a lot. But hopefully they stay up. <laughs> Please. <laughs> hopefully they stay up and I can get away with it for the night. I could honestly. Smash some raisin cakes. Oh, I was just about to say, do get raisin cakes? <gasps> Stop. Should we? Yeah. <laughs> Almost like brunch at this point now. I got some type of baked egg situation. We also got this donut, this like huge donut. I'm so excited. I'm screaming. It looks so good. Hi. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you. I have not updated you guys at all today. There was a protest in New York, so we ended up not being able to take a taxi. We had to basically walk from Times Square to Soho, which was such a trip. Such a trek, but anyway, we did get we ended up getting to Soho around like 1 p.m. No, it was later than that, like 2 p.m. today. Oh, yeah, physical challenge. So, we've been shooting, we're trying to take some cute NYC pics because, duh. Um, and we went for a really nice long walk this morning, which you guys did see. We went through Central Park, and then we also went to Madison Avenue, which was really fun. And now we just finished. Having a little afternoon treat before we go home and edit all night. <laughs> Those chips are like so good. Mm. Every French fry I've had in New York has been unbelievable. No, they're all so good. Like extra crispy. Super thin. Whoa, double. This area, like Soho area, I'm just so obsessed with. This is exactly where I would want to move if I moved. If, when I moved to New York, changing hotels tomorrow, we come to Greenwich, which is like a lot closer. To the Soho area. It'll be good to have a new fresh change of scenery. Good morning, we just got our first bagels in New York. Bagels. What did we get? Cream cheese, olive cream cheese, plain. Plain bagel with olive cream cheese. I've never heard of olive cream cheese. No, me neither, but these look incredible. Blue dry's done. I need to brush out the curls a little bit, but we're ready for a day of shooting in Greenwich. I'm so excited. We're also gonna head to Soho. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's actually really cute. The mirrors here. We came to a place called Dry Bar in Greenwich, but there's some all over the city. If you're in New York, it's they just do blow dryers. Like it's not color or cuts or anything. Which I feel like I need this in Sydney. Imagine if we had this in Sydney and we could just get blow dryers. I feel like maybe the reason we just don't know about something. Like is there somewhere? If there is, let me know because I would actually use that all the time. This area, Soho, is so beautiful. This is my favorite place to shoot when I come to New York. Look at these buildings. Imagine if this is one of your apartment buildings. Had a very productive, busy day today. We've checked into a new hotel. I'll show, I'll show it to you when we get home. Um, but can you guess where we are? Leon's Bagels, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this has been on my vision, New York City to-do list for a very long time. Um, and we both, what did you actually order? I got stage fright. We just ordered what the person in front of us got. And it was like sausage, egg and cheese, which is like a bit rogue. I don't really feel like sausage right now. I know it's actually quite late in the afternoon, but, but I feel like it could be unbelievable. I also added hot honey just because I got crazy. Uh, see, I just went with the basic. I got scared, I got nervous. Even like the jalapeno cream cheese. Like I was thinking about oh, it, but then we had, it on. we had cream cheese this morning. Guys, oh. I think this is definitely 
the best. Ew, the best. This is the best bagel I've ever had. I just tried some. Oh my it's just like so sloppy. I've got so much hair right now. Oh my god. Breakfast about this morning. Pop-up bagels. This one is meant to be amazing. It's actually the top rated, so I'm very excited. I also got a blue bottle coffee. You can see the steam coming off them. These are so good. Oh, what's going on with this one? And I like the scallion. I think that's onion. I'm not spring onion. I'm like, like shallot. Mm. We just got back from a very late lunch and came back to our hotel and the view this afternoon <gasps> this is so beautiful they just ordered some wine to the room and some olives and we're gonna have a little picnic out here and then I think we're actually going ice skating tonight for our final night in New York it's gonna be a very NYC night I didn't really pack anything to wear ice skating I'm thinking maybe like boots Actually, no, you put different shoes on, don't you? I'm thinking tights or jeans. I don't know. I've only ever gone ice skating, I think, like twice in my life, and I was younger, so I don't even know what I'm supposed to wear. But maybe like jeans. I wish I had earmuffs and a cute outfit to wear. And tomorrow we fly to LA for our final leg of the tour. We've honestly had the best, best time so far, and I'm really excited for the guests in LA. I think you guys. I'm really gonna love them. We just got changed because we wanted to take some photos. Cheers, NYC. I would love to live in you one day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just doing a thumbnail. Oh, oh, it's our last night in New York! Wait, I'm actually kind of sad about that. I, no, I don't know why I'm too. excited. That was... We still have LA together. Oh, right. so true. We're attached at the hip at this point. <gasps> Sorry, I got my chin makeup on your shirt. Cheers. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, GC family. If you're actually, wait, this isn't GC. No, but like okay. that's if you're not part of the GC family and you're watching this vlog, you're fake, fake. I won't finish that. Link down below. We're going ice skating. Look. Oh my god. A waffle and a dingle is or whatever. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's like waffles and ding. Dingle. Is it waffles? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Wait. W a f e l s. Waffles. Surely waffles. Going to, <laughs> we're going to the Rockefeller Center. We're going to the Rockefeller Center skating ring. We're both just wearing jeans, a t-shirt, and whoa. We're both just wearing jeans, t-shirt, and a big coat. So hopefully that's enough. It's actually really not that cold outside. Um, so I feel like it should be fine. Caitlin needs like socks. Okay, so actually I'm in more socks in three days. It's like. Oh. Guys, um, I don't know what else to say. I was having these socks because I don't have any. We really need to do a wash at some point. 